the intention was so that they look like they're wearing their own clothes not that it's a fashion show they are not dipika saif and diana as a stylist he you know he he says okay okay uh, okay do what you want do what you want do what you want as a stylist i i i love working with sharuk i'm a really bad actor and i think it's better that i stay behind the camera hi i'm anita shroff adajania and you're watching me on bollywood hangama <laughs> The response to the cocktail promos and the songs that have come out have been really overwhelming. I never expected the kind of reaction that we've got. I mean, you know, the people that are messaging me don't even message me on my birthday to say happy birthday, but they've said, "Oh, you know, the the film looks uh, amazing. The actors look great. We're very excited." And I think uh, it's extra special because it's Homi's film, and um, I have a history with Illuminati Productions as well as my second film with them after Love Ajkal. and i feel very very close to this project and i think we've all worked really hard so i'm very happy with the reaction the intention was so that they look like they're wearing their own clothes exactly. not that it's a fashion show exactly. and i think uh, we tried really hard to make the styling very realistic like you know the way we would wear a t-shirt by the end of the day your t-shirt is hanging out it's right. nothing is perfect and proper and i think each of the three characters has a very distinct way of dressing you know like veronica is more sexy and you know she she puts things together whether it's her clothes her accessories and her hair is always messy but it's like different you know she exper- she's experimental with her fashion gautam's character is more uh, bindas he doesn't really care you know it's like i have kaam pe i have to wear a jacket so i'll wear a jacket but i still wear my dirty jeans and my dirty boots with it you know he'll just put up thin tie and meera is a simple girl she comes from delhi where she goes to her tailor and has her salwar kameezes made and then she comes to london and she thinks you know what can i wear without showing too much skin so i think the the beauty of each of these characters is that they are real people somewhere in our heads you know between homi dinesh myself and my team that i work with an amazing amazing team of young people these characters are people we identify with they are not dipika saif and diana they've gone long time back these are the real characters and that's why i think even the audience is feeling a connect with them you know they all know people like them i have worked with saif many times before and i love working with him because uh, i think he has a an elegant sense of style that's very natural to him he understands fashion and yet he lets you be as a stylist he you know he he says okay okay uh, okay do what you want do what you want do what you want and um, you know it's amazing because he was fit he looks young and fresh which he needed to look for this film so it worked perfectly for the character of gautam and gautam's also supposed to be this guy who doesn't care about fashion fashion is not important to him so it really worked in in the way we decided to style the character and i think saif uh, accepted that and made it his own I was just thinking, क्या आप बिलीव करते हैं लव एट फर्स्ट साइट में या मैं दोबारा घूम के आऊ डायना एज अ न्यू कमर केम टू द टेबल विद एब्सुलटली नो बैगेज यू नो ऑल्सो हर कैरेक्टर वॉज अ टफ वन फॉर मी बिकॉज आई डोंट नो टू मेनी पीपल फ्रॉम डेली हु यू नो फ्रॉम स्मॉल टाउन हु स्टिल वे सलवार कमीज इज एन आर सिंपल सो इन फैक्ट इज द प्रोड्यूसर दिनेश दट हेल्प मी अलॉट विथ हर द अर्लियर पार्ट ऑफ हर कैरेक्टर एंड डायन आई वॉज अ ड्रीम टू वर्क विद बींग अ मॉडल यू नो मॉडल्स डोंट यूजली कॉमेंट ऑन वॉट दे वेरिंग दे वेर वॉट द स्टाइल इज गिव्स दैम एंड आई थिंक दैट एक्सटेंडेड टू हर रोल इन एज एन एक्टर एज वेल शी वॉज एक्सट्रीमली ईजी टू वर्क विथ शी इज सो प्रिटी एंड सूट द रोल कम्प्लीटली you know she's a girl that um, every uh, uh, boy wants to take home to you know for their mom to meet and i think we kept that in mind when you see her in the film her styling is very conservative you know wearing lightweight cardigans with jeans or she's wearing loose pants yeah. it's not about the body but there's a sense of style to the way she dresses and i think a lot of people who are shy or slightly introverted uh, who prefer a slightly conventional style of dressing can identify with that and uh, and enjoy the way she dresses main life mein kabhi itna gira hu aur badtameez aur besharam insaan nahi dekha hai i work with dipika a lot uh, you know i style her uh, for her personal appearances and in, in in advertising work a lot so i'm very very comfortable with dipika we have an amazing working relationship but i think what was special about this film is you know normally we're always striving to make dipika look perfect and beautiful and stunning which she does so easily yeah. this time we reverse that i wanted her to be you know more casual and her, and more like chilled out like messy hair 
nothing was perfect the clothes were messy if you see her her t-shirt and tumi ho bandhu it's falling off one shoulder it's just tied roughly so it was more like rough and put together and that was the challenge and what dipika brought to the table was this like super hot super fit body you know that combined with this amazing face i mean like it was just it was just so easy working with her we had great hair and makeup we had bondu doing her uh, her makeup and we got an amazing young hairstylist meera from london who came in to do her hair so it you know her her sense of style on this film was very unpredictable and that's what i wanted you don't know what she's going to wear next she wakes up and she thinks today i'm going to be slightly gothic today i'm going to be uh, you know more girly so maybe she puts a bow in her hair with a gothic dress you know it's she's a fashion chameleon and uh, in that way i feel she's quite fashion forward as a character <laughs> I did the the look for uh, Shahrukh in Arey One, and uh, the costume was made by a specialist who does all the superheroes. It was made in Chicago, I think. And in fact, uh, when we first saw the costume, we we went to New York for the costume fitting, and it was just amazing. We couldn't believe that something was made that looked like that and fitted the way it. It was like a second skin on Shahrukh, you know. And uh, I remember it being a very exciting time, and we finally realized a new superhero was born. But otherwise, yeah, the rest of the film where he plays, um, you know, the the father and all, I styled all of that, and uh, I also work with Shah Rukh a lot, uh, and uh, it's a real pleasure. I, well, that's different. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. That But was now, cute. now as a stylist, I I I love working with Shah Rukh. I I think he's. Absolutely gorgeous. I uh, never wanted to be an actor. Okay. okay. The only acting I've done is because uh, uh, my friends uh, bullied me or conned me into doing it. Okay. I mean, Dilwale happened with Karan and Adi, yes. uh, and uh, the same thing happened with Kalonar plus Karan. And I was I was doing costumes uh, for his film for the songs, and then uh, it just so happened that this role developed, and it's fun. I love it. But I think I'm a really bad actor, and I think it's better that I stay behind the camera. Chadi mujhe 